2020, yeah, it's a year that most people will not forget in a hurry, I think it's fair to say. Through the, all the adversity, though, the nation has kind of pulled together, haven't we? Everyone from Major Tom to the NHS and other key workers to applauding on your doorstep on a Thursday night. One beautiful Christmas day. It's a celebration of all those things. It's a new Christmas uh, song recorded by West End star Kerry S and also features Queen's legendary Brian May. Let me leave you a little taster of what it's all about first. Street filled with faces on blankets of snow Racing to love ones all destined for home I feel it in my bones Soon I will see those faces I love For a perfect winter's memory It's crazy to think it's just all It feels proper Christmassy, doesn't it, as well? I mean, let's meet the people behind it. Carrie Ellis and Brian May. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Oh, it hello. sounds lovely. It do- <laughs> I, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't think you were going to come on and go, oh, it's terrible, this. I mean, what's it's this rubbish terrible. you've got on? Yeah, absolutely <laughs> useless. <laughs> uh, so, Kerry, Brian, tell us a little bit about the idea behind this song and how it all started. Well, um, this we actually came up with this last year. I was working with... Uh, some new writers up in Manchester, John and Andy, and um, we we thought about this song, and, and we thought about putting it out last year, and I played it to Brian, and he was like, yep, yeah, great, amazing, but we never actually got round to it, um, it, because obviously things got in the way, and then sure. this year, I played it again to Brian and said, you know, I think we should put it out this year, it's been a really tough year, and actually, let's bring people some joy, and bring something good out of this lockdown, and he jumped obviously on it and played and, and we we uh, messed with it a little bit and and came up with some magic I think and I'm so proud of it and it's just been so nice to bring something positive from such a, a tricky year and um, and to hear it on the radio is just fantastic it must be amazing i mean because of course you and brian you, you've known each other for quite some time really so it's not like you've just like phoned up brian may randomly and gone should we do a christmas <laughs> song together so how, how did you meet in the first place <laughs> Um, well, a long time ago, I think it's back nearly 18 years, back in when I was doing My Fair Lady, um, Brian was on the search for people to, to, to be in his show, We Will Rock You, that was going to open at the Dominion. And he came to see me and My Fair Lady and kind of asked me to audition. And, and that was that was the rest of history, really. I mean, as simple as that. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, yeah, incredible, really, as well. Uh, we've got Brian now joining us as well. Hello, Brian. How are you doing? Finally, yeah. I don't think FaceTime works very well. So we're on, I know. On we were now. worried. I was like, where's he gone? We need Brian on as well. I mean, we've just <laughs> heard from back. Kerry uh, about the, sort of the background of this and, and how it happened. Yeah. And obviously, you've known each other for a while. Give us a little bit yeah. of perspective of yours. I mean, in terms of making a Christmas song, that's quite a tough project to make it feel suitably festive, or perhaps not. Well, it happened quite organically, really. And um, Kerry's had this song for a while now, written by her friends uh, Andy and John. Uh, in Manchester, and um, I heard it and liked it and thought, hmm, maybe I could play on that. And then, so so this year we thought, well, we, we could actually do it just for fun, and if it turns out great, we'll put it out. Um, so we got together, and we did a little bit of modification of the song. We put a few of our own little bits in and, and worked away, and it started to sound like a record. You know, you, you just suddenly get that feeling, ooh, actually, this does sound like a record. So then, uh, let's put it out, and then, oh, let's promote it, and let's Let's see if we can actually get, it, get people to hear it, you know, because, I mean, thank you for taking us on and thanks for playing the record because, that, mm. it, you know, it still means a lot. After all these years, you make a record, it's so upsetting if people don't get to hear it. So the radio is everything. Mm. You, you guys get to play it to people and we get a response and they get some joy. That's what we want. That well, I mean, wonderful. it is a perfect Christmas song as well because, like you know, you were saying, Kerry, we kind of need that positivity now and try and salvage something from 2020. And, I mean, oh, this man. very much does that. I mean, is, is that why you felt it was so important to record it now? To put it out now, definitely, especially what's been happening with the arts over the last year. You know, it's been really tough for people in, you know, in, in, in creative places. And to put something out to, to celebrate was quite important to give fans and people to something to listen to and to to find joy in and to kind of fly the flag for the theatre and the creatives was was quite important to me and it the record and the, the video even sums up this year really we we did a lot of it on our phones and 
put mm. something together to to which is what everybody's been doing this year everyone's gone online they've gone on their phones and communicated through live streams and um and that's what we've done and i think I think it's done that. I think it's it's ticked all those boxes, and and now, like Brian said, it's so nice for people to actually hear it, and for radio stations to support it, so that people can listen to it. And yeah, I'm so proud. Well, it's it's lovely that you say that as well. I mean, like hearing both of you talk about this. Obviously, you know, seasoned musicians, both absolutely incredible at what you do, but it's still exciting to be, get to hear it on the radio, which is a lovely thing. I mean, Brian, for you, I mean, yeah. there are always quite a few Christmas songs released every year. Mm. I mean, maybe not quite as much as they used to be, but why should yours be our new favourite Christmas song? Really, sell it to me. Give, give me some. Oh. Give me it to me. <laughs> it's because it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you know it is very much of the time. You know, we're talking about you know having a, a, a beautiful Christmas day, and we all know it's not going to be easy. But I think you have to accept that and do it in a different way. And you can be together, no matter how it works out. I mean, I'm going to be playing Pictionary with my grandchildren on Christmas Day on Zoom, and to me, it's okay. You know, this is not the same Christmas as we normally have, but. You know, next year, it hopefully it'll be all right if we all survive. Now, listen, we've got to be careful. We've got to survive to the next Christmas. So I'm not too impatient to, to sort of break any of the rules or anything. I just think, okay, let's just take it easy, and uh, we'll have a lot more beautiful Christmases, hopefully. But this record kind of says that. It says, you know, we can be, be together somehow, and uh, Christmas will be okay. So it's, it's a new new Christmas thought. I, I love that. So I, th- I think you've sold that perfectly. That's a, that's a good one. I, I, Ker- <laughs> Kerry, what about you? In terms of your Christmas, I mean, Brian's mentioned a little bit about his, that it's not obviously going to be the same and it won't be for a lot of us. What's your Christmas looking like this year? Well, I have two young boys. I have a seven and a five-year-old, so it, it'll be pretty chaotic. I mean, Christmas is great when you've got kids around, but same for us. You know, we'll be online Zooming to, to grandparents and, and uh, you know, relations all over the world, you know, keeping in touch with people. But like, Brian, you know, Brian mentioned, it's about people communicating and staying in touch, however that may be, and it has been a very different year. But what what this year has done is allowed us to communicate worldwide and reach people overseas. Everybody's been doing lots of Zoom quizzes and Zoom everything, but we've been getting in touch with people probably more than we normally would because we've had to. So it's, it's yeah, I think we're going to be much the same online and chaos with my two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Still sounds fun, like you say, so it's going to be good. And let's talk, because I mean, a lot of people are already talking excitedly about 2021, and it would be great if we could see you guys perform again. And in terms of touring, Brian, have you got any plans for 2021? Well, we have a tour sitting there, which was postponed from last May and June, which was the end of our world tour. We did Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and we were about to do um, Europe and Britain, when the bomb went off, you know, when, yeah. when the thunderstorm happened, and yeah. suddenly we couldn't do anything. So it's sitting there, it's booked uh, for May and June and onwards, but we'll have to see. You know, everybody has their fingers crossed in hoping that we really can pack out those places again. And Kerry, just quickly for you as well, when can we see you back on the West End? Ooh, <laughs> well, sorry about that. But, it's tough, um, isn't it? No, I, I had quite a a busy year of, of concerts which are going to be postponed to 2021 so hopefully they will just go ahead I was meant to be going to Japan and Italy again so hopefully you know things will open up and I'll be able to do that which would be great well thank you both so much for joining me real pleasure to speak to you a brand new Christmas song recorded by West End star Kerry Ellis and featuring legendary queen Brian May as well brilliant <laughs> It's 3.30 now. The latest news is Dominic Johnson. 